I know you've been dying to know. Did they get the greenhouse fixed? How's the garden coming? Well, today we're gonna update you. Get ready. Well, let's take a look at the garlic first. The garlic is doing awesome. It's grown so much. It's looking so good. When it first, when I first uncovered it, it was a little yellow. They were very small. I added some uh, blood meal to it because garlic are heavy feeders. And when they're trying to put their bulbs on, they need some extra boost to get them going. So I did that probably the middle of April and I'm going to probably do it again um, fairly soon. Probably add some more blood meal to it and water it in or wait till a rainy day and put it on and let the rain water it in. One or the other. I've got some onions going in this barrel. The green that you see, uh, have, they've been in there for a while. Somebody gave me a few that they had left over they didn't have room for. So um, I put those in and those are doing great, but all in the other spaces, I went and bought some more and I put those in. So those will be a little bit longer, but they're starting to take off already. It's doing pretty good. And these were the um, past gardens that I've had, uh, raised beds that I've had, and they needed dirt. They were down a lot. I had a hugo culture underneath them with leaves and sticks and branches and i um as it as it de decomposes and stuff um the it settles down and you lose dirt and whatnot so it's all good for it but i needed to put some to top it off put some fresh stuff on so that's a mix of loam or topsoil with compost and these three beds are ready to go. All right, guys, this is a new bed that I just built. It's a very long one. I have no idea how long it is, but it's a nice long bed at the end of my garden or on the side of my garden. And oh my word, I'm gonna be able to put so much stuff. This is new this year. This is gonna work out awesome. I think I'm gonna put climbing stuff since I have the fence right behind it. Just gonna reinforce that fence. And that's going to make an awesome long garden bed for stuff. Okay, guys, this is also new. This is a new bed I just built this year as well. Um, I just had some stuff kicking around, put it together, uh, screwed it in as best I could to keep it together, added dirt. It's topsoil or loam, whichever you want to call it, and compost from the chickens and shavings and whatnot food scraps, anything I could find to put in there. That's all in there. There's feathers too. I think I can see a couple feathers sticking out of the ground. But those are all, um, those are all filled now. This is new. This is new to me. This I got at the dump uh, last week. I saw it there and I said, holy smokes, I need that for my garden. And the guy was like, go ahead and take it, no problem. So here it is, sitting in the garden, ready to be something planted in it. Over here I have some potatoes. These two bags right here, this one and this one have potatoes in it. Nothing has happened yet. Um, yeah, I don't see anything yet, but it's only been a few days. This one doesn't have anything yet here, but it will. I've got potatoes all cured and ready to go. And I've got some more bags to fill. I may need to get some more dirt to fill them. All right, I'm trying to do this in between wind gusts because we're having them. Uh, this step ladder was has been in the family for a long time. It was my grandfather's. When he passed, my mother took it because she needed one. And they decided they needed a new one because it needs to be shored up before you can really use it. And they were gonna throw it at the dump and I said, no, I can use that. And I think I'm gonna put my herbs on this. Maybe some flowers too. But I found these, I have these in my 
This is my trash back there. Not really trash, but stuff that I'm not using at the moment I put in the corner over there. And I found out that I had all these and I thought I was going to make some boxes, but I think this is going to work just fine. So, um, I probably fill these and put my herbs and flowers that I'm not using in the garden beds with my veggies in here. I also have my uh, leaf cutter bee house here. This is going to help hopefully bring in some leaf cutter bees that can pollinate uh, anything that needs to be pollinated. So I'm pretty excited to see that being used. And it looks like it's going to come in and rain again, so I want to get inside, but look at this guys. The roof. The roof is on. It's on both sides. The door is on. Let's go in and see what's growing. Here we go. Holy smokes. This is so awesome. I love it in here. Look at it. Now we put the, it did take a little bit to get the panels on. I can tell you we did not film it because it was very frustrating. This thing is super hard. If you don't have it level and um, squared off, it is a pain in the butt. So we took, we put the panels in and I took silicone. I don't know if you can see, but I took and siliconed all the cracks and crevices. See if you can see that in there. I just shoved it in everywhere that I could find to get it to stick and hang on because it really needed it. So this is what I'm growing here. Look at all this stuff. I brought this stuff out. Let's straighten you up here. It doesn't look like you're straight. But anyway, I've got um, some borage. Look at that. It's beautiful. All this, as soon as I brought this stuff out, it has been loving it out here. Nasturtiums. Great companion plant. I got a bunch of them. These are hollyhocks. These I just had seeds for. And hollyhocks are so pretty. So there we go. Growing some hollyhocks. I've got some zucchini just starting in there. I've got two seeds in there. Um, so zucchini, but here's some more. These are doing good. I've got two plants that have started already. And this is lemon balm. Smells so good. Mmm. Smells good. These are sunflowers. I just thought I would, uh, they're Lemon Queen sunflowers. So, and the only thing that I can say about having a greenhouse is that it's really warm in here all the time and it needs to be watered. So I come in here a couple times a day to check them. I water them in the morning and then I check them in the afternoon, especially on a really hot day. Uh, I leave the little window open above here and the door open, but it's still warm in here. So I try to come out and make sure things need Things that need to be watered, get watered. Um, and those definitely need it today, so I'm going to have to get some. All right, let's see what else we got. Got some bush beans growing. I've got two, two growing right now. Um, lettuce, no lettuce growing. Is lettuce hard to germinate? Can you guys tell me whether it is or not? Because it has been quite a while. It's been long enough, so it should have germinated by now. So it's definitely not doing anything. Uh, peas. Look at those peas. Again, it's dry, and I watered this morning. So um, the Craig's jalapenos. Those are, this was tiny, tiny. I don't know what happened, but it got stunted or something. I had two of them, but my daughter took one. So I have one, but that's fine. That'll be enough. I just want one to make some chilies or something. Uh, King of the North pepper. I've got one, two, th three of those coming up. So that's a good one. Bush beans. I've got three bush beans. So that's cool. Oh yeah, these are bush beans here too. All right, so I've got one, two, I've got five bush beans. Cucumbers, I've got one, two, three, four cucumbers. Um, these are pickling cucumbers though, uh, because I'm planning on doing some pickles this year, I think. Uh, bullnose peppers, 
These are doing good. This one is taking a while and it looks like the starter leaves are not doing so well, but it does have another leaf coming out on it. So hopefully it'll take off. If not, I've got five other ones if it doesn't. Okay, let's see. These are cherry tomatoes. I've got two of these. I had three. My daughter took one because my granddaughter likes to eat them right out of the garden. These are Roma tomatoes. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six of those. May give some away. Who knows? Pink, pink brandywine tomatoes. These are doing really good. These were stunted for a while. Um, and they have really popped since coming out here. All this has been doing awesome. So I've got six of the pink brandywines. Um... For you guys that are interested, I'm growing some CBD plants. Um, CBD helps me a lot with my pain. I have um, kidney disease and I have a lot of pain from arthritis. And uh, it helps me a lot with nausea, pain, um, any anxiety that I have. So we grow our own CBD plants and make our own um, gummies and oils to put into stuff. Oregano, we have uh, oregano here. Dill, I have a bunch of dill. These need to be repotted, really. They're just growing right out, and you can see the, hopefully you can, you can see the roots coming out the bottom. But these are really going crazy, and they, they're going dry every day. They really need to be repotted. This is parsley. I've got three of these, I think. And then, oh, basil. Basil. Mmm, I love basil. Um, we love making pesto with basil. So that's going to be really good with our garlic that we're growing. And the basil. And um, we'll get some pine nuts and some olive oil. And we can make our own um, pesto. It's going to be awesome. And the dill I thought I could use for my pickles. So... Um, that's really good. So over here I have, uh, these are more nasturtiums that they grew, um, because I had them in here and I took them out as they grew, put them in a different pot over that I showed you before. Um, but I had some more that rooted and came up, but it's supposed to be zinnias here, which I don't have many, only a few, um, marigolds and some uh, Indian white sunflowers I put in there to get them started so that I can put them out when when it's safe to put them out but those the marigolds and stuff are gonna go around my tomatoes and uh, those are gonna be pretty awesome um wow this stuff is really going good this greenhouse now that we've got the roof on I'm so excited about I just love it I come in first thing in the morning and it's already warm in there uh, before the sun even comes up and hits it um, I've got some really pretty, uh, solar lights that I put inside and it was long enough so it would go around the outside as well. Throw some pictures in here for you guys to see. Um, I just get so excited this time of year. I love it. I can't wait to figure out what beds I'm going to put what in. I have no idea yet. Um, I kind of wing it. A lot of people will plan it out. Um, I wing it. I know what I had where last year and then I've got these new beds so things can get switched around. I'll throw in some pictures of, or maybe video, I can't remember what I got, of putting in the floor of the greenhouse. We bought some crushed uh, gravel or crushed rock, I guess, um, and it packs down so well that that floor in there just feels so solid. And we put quite a bit in there, but it also helps because that was not a level ground where we put that. Uh, it was actually the most unlevel spot we could put it. <laughs> but we used some braces and sat it on there and screwed it down in. And then we took that uh, crushed rock and we packed it in around the inside and outside to hold it in. And so far it's holding, it's been excellent. It was Scott's idea. And of course he knows just, he knows just how to do it. So it worked out great. I'm really happy with it. Everything from Baker Creek that I ordered and put in, everything from Mary's heirloom seeds that I put in, uh, it's
it's all coming and I'm pretty excited about it. So thanks for coming along and checking up on the greenhouse and the garden. I've got so much more room to grow and I'm really excited about doing it. So follow along. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a nice comment down below. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good day.